Hi all. Today we are going to study about a new chapter in mathematics which is combinations. In this chapter we study a useful counting technique in which it determines the number of different ways of arranging and selecting objects without actually listing them. Combination is a counting technique. It is a counting technique and it is for determining the number of ways. It is for determining the number of ways. The number of ways of arranging number of ways of arranging and selecting objects without actually listing them. And here the order is not important. The order is not considered. Now, before going to that, in detail, we must know some notations. That notation is called factorial. Factorial notation. That is, the factorial notation is the product of the product of first n natural numbers. First n natural numbers is denoted by the letter n. It is called as n factorial. So this is our notation. The notation is called factorial notation. That is we can write n factorial as n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into etc. Then the last three terms would be 3 into 2 into 1 because we are taking the natural numbers. So we can express it through an example like this that is for taking 5 factorial we can write it as 5 into n minus 1 means 5 minus 1 that is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So, on multiplying we get the result 120. Also, 4 factorial is equal to, we can write it as 4 into 3 factorial. We can also write it as 4 into 3 into 2 factorial. Also, it can be written as 2 into 1 which is equal to 24. This is very useful in studying combinations. Combination is about how many ways we can arrange things in different objects or in different combination we can arrange a set of given objects. So, first of all, consider three tennis players. Three tennis players. Let there be X, Y and Z. We want to create a team consisting of two players. We want two players as a set or as a team. Now, in how many ways we can do so? There are three possible ways. They are X, Y is this a team. Then Y, Z. It is a team and ZX. This is a team. Here each section is called a combination. The section is called a combination. That is, here the each section is called a combination of three different objects taken two at a time. Here the combination is from three different objects taking two at a time. In a combination, the order is not important. The order is not important. So, we can write the above combination also 
like this x is it that is x y is equal to y x in combinations x y is equal to y x because the order is not important here consider an another example here consider 12 persons meeting in a room we are having 12 persons meeting in a room and each take hands with other hands with other so here there will be many combinations that is we are having 12 persons and if x y z etc be the number of or the persons so we can say that x y x z etc there are so many combinations we cannot find it as writing is as a whole so we have a formula for finding combination of n number of objects taken r at a time here we are having 12 persons taking two at a time so for general formula the formula for combination is we are having n different objects we are having n different objects and taking r at a time taking r at a time so we can define the combination as n c r n c r here the result will be first of all we are taking the n factorial then divided by r factorial then we are taking n minus r factorial n factorial r factorial n minus r factorial this is the general formula for finding combinations of n different objects taken r at a time consider the example we have four different objects we are having four different objects that is a comma b comma c and d taking two at a time taking two at a time and the, therefore we are having the combinations the combinations ab ac ad bc bd and cd there are six combinations there are six combinations so we can write the general formula we are having the general formula n c r is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial and n minus r factorial so what is factorial for example 3 factorial is equal to 3 into 2 into 1 5 factorial is equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 this is the way we are calculating the factorial so here we are having four different objects and two taken at a time so here we are having 4c2 4c2 will, will become 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial 4 minus 2 factorial that is we get 4 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 2 into 1 and also we are getting 2 factorial here and 2 into 1 can uh, cancelling this we are getting the answer 6 so we are also getting 6 here and by formula we are getting 6 that is This is the method of finding combination. Next, we are going to discuss some of the properties of the term NCR. We know that NCR is a formula which is given by 
n factorial divided by r factorial n minus r factorial. Now we are going to discuss some of the important properties of this formula. That is the first property is that n c r is a natural number. n c r is a natural number which means we cannot get fractional numbers here. The next is n c 0 is equal to n c n which is equal to 1 or also we can say that n c 1 is equal to n. For example, consider the case of 4 c 0. 4 c 0 can be written as 4 factorial divided by 0 factorial then 4 minus 0 factorial. We know that 0 factorial is 1 and then we get 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial which is equal to 1. And considering this term that is 4 c 4 which is equal to 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial 4 minus 4 factorial which is also we get 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial 0 factorial which is, which is also is equal to 1. Then the next condition is 4 c 1 which is equal to 4 factorial divided by 1 factorial into 4 minus 1 factorial which is equal to 4 factorial divided by 1 factorial into 3 factorial. And we can write it as 4 factorial can be written as 4 into 3 factorial. So 3 factorial, 3 factorial cancelled we get 4. Here we get n is 4 so we get 4 is the answer. Okay. Now. The next property is that n c r is equal to n c n minus r. That is, consider the example 5 c 2. 5 c 2 is equal to 5 c 3. This is the condition here. n is equal to 5, r is equal to 2. So, n minus r is equal to 3. Now, we can, we have to prove this. That is, that is we know that this, this is 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial 5 minus 2 factorial and which is here it is 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial 5 minus 2 factorial. Here we get 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 3 factorial. Also, we get 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2 factorial. So, the answer is the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Hence, it is proved. Then, the fourth property is that NCR plus NCR minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 cr. So, we have to prove this for that if consider the example if, this is an example, if n c 9 is equal to n c 8 then we can find n c 70. Okay, we, we, we know that expanding the terms n factorial 9 factorial n minus 9 factorial then which is equal to n factorial divided by 8 factorial n minus 8 factorial then we can write it as n factorial divided by 9 into 8 factorial we can write 9 factorial as 9 into 8 factorial then n minus n minus 9 n minus 9 factorial which is equal to 
n factorial divided by 8 factorial. We can write n minus 8 factorial into n minus 8 into n minus 8 minus 1 factorial. So, we can cancel this and cancel this also. We get 1 minus 9 into n minus 9 factorial which is equal to 1 minus n minus 8 into n minus 9 factorial. Also cancelling these two then we get 1 minus 9 is equal to n minus 8. So n minus 8 is equal to 9, n is equal to 9 plus 8 which is equal to 17. We get n is equal to 17. We have to find n c 17. We got n as 17. So we get 17 c 17 is equal to 1. Using this formula, using the fourth formula, we can find the n c 17. This is one of the important formula. Then the next, the fifth property is that n into n minus 1 c r minus 1 which is equal to n minus r plus 1 into n c r minus 1. Next we are going to discuss some of the problems regarding the combinations. Here we are having a pack of cards, a pack of 52 playing cards. And we have to choose 4 cards at a time. We are having 52 cards that is n is equal to 52 and we are going to collect or arranging or picking 4 cards at a time. So we are getting r is equal to 4 and these 4 cards may be as follows that is the first one is about the Four cards are of same suit and four cards belonging to four different suits and are ace face cards. Two are red card and two are black cards. Cards are of same color. These are the conditions. So, first of all, we are having four suits. The suit is, the first suit is the third. This is the Heart. Then second one is the diamond. The diamond. Then this is bird. This this is club. This is spade. And we are having fifty two. And for one suit there are thirteen cards. Then we are going to find the first one. First problem that is four cards of same suit. That is, the number of ways getting four card of the same suit can be given as, we know that there are same card. That is, each and every, this is the four from heart and four from diamond and four from club and four from spade. That is, for each of this we can have in combinations, they are 13C4 plus 13C4 plus 13C4 plus 13C4. Since we are having 4 suits here. So we can say that 13Z4 into 4. So we get 4 into 13 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 9 factorial that is equal to 2860. This is the base number of ways of picking 4 cards are of same suit. The next is we have, we have to find 4 cards belonging to 4 different units. 4 different that is each card is from each suit. That is one card from third, one card from diamond, one card from club and one card from spade. So 
the number of ways the number of ways of getting four cards belongs to four different suit we are going to use the multiplication rule here we use multiplication rule that is here we are having 13 cards 13 cards and having four we want four same so so four different suit at a time so we are using the multiplication rule 13 c1 into 13 c1 into 13 c1 into 13 c1 which is equal to 13 factorial divided by 1 factorial divided by 12 factorial which is equal to 12, 13 into 12 factorial divided by 12 factorial that is so this is the square uh, raised to 4 that is we get 13 raised to 4 is the answer next problem is we have to find face cards face cards are the cards having face on them the cards which is having face are the joker the queen and the king are having faces on that so these are the three cards so total we are having 12 card are face card so the third problem will be we have to find four face cards so the number of ways that is n is equal to 12 and r is equal to 4 that is the number of ways the number of ways is equal to 12 c 4 so we get 12 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 12 minus 4 factorial which is equal to 12 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 8 factorial that is we get 495 number of ways of getting 4 ace cards. Then the fourth question is about we are getting 2 red card and 2 black card. So the number of ways is the number of ways is that is we are having total 26 26 red card and 26 black cards that is from the figure we can see that there are the heart and diamond consisting of the red and the club and spade consisting of black so total 26 each one is about 26 numbers so number of ways is getting 2 that is from the 26 cards we have to get 2 red card and from the 26 card we have to get 2 black card so the result will be 2 into 26 c 2 that is 2 into 26 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 26 minus 2 factorial that is on calculating this we get 3 to 5 square that is about 105 6 to 5 this is the number of ways of we getting 2 red and 2 black cards then the fifth question is about getting same color. Getting same color. That is 4 from 26 card. That is 4 red color from 26 card. And 4 black from another 26 card. So the number of ways which is equal to 26 c4 plus 26 c4 that is getting 2 into 26 factorial divided by 
four factorial divided by turn into twenty six minus four factorial, which is we are getting two nine nine zero zero. This is the answer. That is we are getting the all conditions from the problem. Next, we are going to discuss problem two. It is about a committee of eleven members is to be formed from eight males and five females. If F M is the number of ways the committee is formed with at least six males, and N is the number of ways the committee is formed with at least three females. Now we are having eight. Males, five females. That is total thirteen members. Total thirteen members. So we want to make a committee with eleven members. There are two ways. There are two ways. That is, first is M ways and second is N ways. M ways is four. At least six males, and n is containing at least three females. At least means minimum six or minimum three females, and we can have more than six or three in each committee. So. For the first condition, that is for M, we can say that the number of ways, that is, the number of ways when there is at least six males. At least means minimum six males. Okay, so we have the combination which is given as total eleven members. Of these minimum six males, so we have the combination. We all have eight males, so eight out of eight males we can have the com at least six. Then, then we want eleven. So three from the female. That is out of five females we want. We want. This is six, so we want five total. Eleven. Six plus five, eleven. So we get eleven members with at least six male. Another combination is possible. That is, this is minimum. So we we can have seven males and four females. That is seven plus four is. Eleven. Then eight males and three females. So then also we get eleven. Eight plus three eleven. And on calculating this, we can we get six factorial. Then six factorial and two factorial. We can cancel this. Then also here also we can cancel this, and this is zero factorial. This is this is point. Then for the next we are we have eight into seven factorial. It is seven factorial. It is one factorial. We can can cancel this. Here also we can write five into four factorial. Four factorial into one factorial. We can also cancel this. Likewise, we can cancel this. This is one. On calculating this, we get seventy-eight. The answer is seventy-eight. So we have the value m is equal to seventy-eight. Then the next condition is n. N is the number of ways having at least three female in the committee. That is. N is the number of ways when there is at least three females. Three females. Likewise, we can write 
that is out of 5 females we have at least 3 then the remaining 8 from the rest of the males then plus 5c4 then 8c7 can have 5 this is plus 5c5 and 8c6 so total here 3 plus 8, 11, 4 plus 7, 11, 5 plus 6, also 11. These are the combinations. So, we get 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial by 2 factorial. Then we get 5 into 4 into 3 factorial. Then 3 factorial into 2 factorial plus on cancelling this and this. We get here 5 into 4, 10 divided by 2, that is, so n, we are also having n is equal to 78. For the answer here, the C option is correct, n m is equal to, n is equal to 78. A scientific committee is to be formed from 6 Indians and 8 foreigners which include at least 2 Indians and double the number of foreigners as Indians. Here we are having a scientific committee and it will be formed from the total number of Indian is 6 and total number of foreigners is 8. That scientific committee include at least two Indians and double the number of foreigners as Indians. That is, double the number of Indians. For example, if there are two Indians, at least, at least two Indian. And if there are two Indians, that there will be double the number of foreigners. Then if we have three Indians, the foreigners will be six foreigners. And if four Indians are there, then it will be eight foreigners. Only there are eight foreigners and at least we are having two. Okay, now we are going to combine the combinations. That is, the number of ways is given as two Indian 4 foreigners plus 3 Indian, 6 foreigners plus 4 Indian, 8 foreigners. So, in terms of combination, we can write it as there are total 6 Indians. Therefore, 6C2, here it is 2, we want 2 Indians. Into total there are 8 Foreigners, so we get 8C, here it is 4, so 4. Then, plus likewise, we can write 6C3 into 8C6 plus 6C4 into 8C8. Then expanding, we get 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 6 minus 2 factorial is 4 factorial. Then 8 factorial, 4 factorial, 8 minus 4 is 4 factorial. Plus 6 factorial, 3 factorial and 3 factorial. 8 factorial divided by 6 factorial into 8 minus 6, 2 factorial plus 6 factorial. 4 factorial, 2 factorial into 8 factorial by 8 factorial into 0 factorial. On calculating this we get and 4 factorial into 2 factorial into 8 factorial divided by 8 factorial. Cancelling this, this, this. That is 3, 5, 60 plus 15 which is equal to 1625 is the right answer. The right answer is 1625. 
So the option here is C is the right answer.